Morning everybody, how are you today? Good morning and welcome. Have we got people joining us? Um, we are hopefully able to do all our bits and pieces today, which is to get your messages and um, to have the chat, as in so you can interact with me here while we are. Whoops, let's turn the sound down on that, shall we? <laughs> right, so I left you last time. Um, with the Eight of Swords. So still moving through the sword family, um, we have um, the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, as you can see, is a description here. Hello, this is Tarot School. No readings today, just so you know. If you're joining us, this is learning about the tarot cards. So good morning to you all. This is Tarot Tuition. So um, I am going to continue here with our lesson on Nine of Swords. If you want to join us regarding how to learn the cards, please, you're very, very welcome. Good morning, pretty. Good morning, Empress. Do not mistake that this is live readings today. This is live tarot tuition. Um, I'm hoping that you can all hear me okay. Um, please do bear with me for a moment. Right, my microphone seems to be okay. So, there we go. Sorry about that. Good morning. So, Nine of Swords, mental anguish, sleepless nights, can't sleep, fear of the result. So this is the strain um, when something that you have to face comes to a point where you are feeling that you are fearing what the result will be. And so, it's a card of getting ready and going into that next day or that next week um, thinking that you are overwhelmed, um, overtired, perhaps burnt out by the whole thing. Um, and so you've got all this going on that allows you to overthink, over uh, go into a place and a space where you are stressed, it's mental angst, anguish, okay? Sorry about my dog's barking. Um, I think there's some sheep in the field next door and I've locked them in, but you know, close the curtains, but what can I do? I'm sorry. Um, please bear with me for a moment and hopefully they'll stop, okay? So you have this whole um, scene here of somebody being incredibly stressed. So that stress is putting upon that person and there they are, unable to sleep, over tired, and they are probably a little bit. Paranoia is creeping in because they are thinking, what's gonna happen? How am I gonna cope? What's actually going to go on here? So the Nine of Swords, quite a, um, a difficult time for this person, but it's just showing uh, that preparation mentally, that it's the best that that person can actually manage or do, okay? So, Nine of Swords, mental anguish. Okay, Ten of Swords. Very much about, oops, sorry, just trying to make sure that as I move everything on my screen, that I'm not missing out on your comments. Hello, I'm done. Um, Del Day, 11. How are you? Thank you. This is, all. Oh, hi, I think you're actually from um, uh, Twitch. Lovely. Oh, that's so nice. Hi, how are you doing? And you're very welcome. Um, incidentally, if anybody does want to join um, the tarot uh, notes together um, of previous videos, then please do look on Talk Tarot, join the group, and you can get access to the very files that I'm using on screen with you. So you can download those and have your own notes with the card and the meaning beside it. I've done that all for you. And don't forget, folks, that I do do um, uh, readings. So if ever you want to have a reading with me, just looking on the actual screen there, you'll see 
all the ways that you can contact me if you wish to have a personal reading. And there's many shapes and sizes to doing that. They usually phone, telephone readings, but I do email and all sorts of different things. So let's continue here with the Ten of Swords. So if we look at this character, here he is with lots of swords in his back. What does that mean? It's talking about how this person is thinking, how they're viewing um, life in their head. So there's nothing physical in this. This is um, all to do with the mental capacity of what's being thought about here. So Ten of Swords is a card of humiliation. It's, um, it's feeling betrayed. It's feeling that you are a scapegoat. Um, so, you know, it can't be easy. And um, we've all had times like that, haven't we? Where we actually feel betrayed, where we feel lost, where we feel that a large group of people have not got our back, or quite the opposite, they're putting knives in our back. That's how it actually seems to us. But there's nothing physical in this. This is not what somebody's actually doing. This is how we feel. We've been stabbed in the back here, you know, made into the scapegoat, carrying the can for everything and anything that's going on in life, where we feel that we are um, the ones that are being put underneath that, that lorry <laughs> um, and pushed oh, I don't care about you, you can take the can, you know, that kind of thing. So it's not a nice feeling there, or actually feeling that, you know, everybody's out um, uh, to get you and, and nobody is actually helping you. But remember, it's this, it's not actually happening. It's what we're thinking and it's how we're processing things. And it's also uh, a case of feeling, gosh, I feel betrayed, you know, what am I going to do? The good news is that when you see this card, it's over. You've reached the maximum. So from here on, you know, you're not going to go through this anymore. You're facing the music now. So it's a bit like, well, feel the fear and do it anyway. And that's where you are. So it's not something that you've actually got to go over again and again and again. A bit like the Nine of Swords there. You know, um, there's a feeling that you have reached your maximum. There is also, um, with the Ten of Swords, mental exhaustion. This is a card of actually feeling that they've thought everything and you really are tired. Um, Ma'am, can you teach cartomacy reading? Um, no, I'm doing tarot, darling, sorry. Um, and, you know, uh, this is this is a school at the moment, so sorry, but thank you for your request. <laughs> okay, so this has been stabbed in at the back and this is a feeling of being betrayed by everyone around you. But it's a temporary situation. You've reached the maximum here, and this is the worst it will be. So from here on in, you know, you're moving forwards. So when you see this card, you're welcome, Babita. Sorry about that. Um, I, I, I am doing different things, but this is what we're sticking to. This is a, a scheduled session. Um, but thank you for asking. Do actually write to me on um, the Facebook page. Um, and we can have a look. Depends what you mean by cartomacy um, reading. And um, there's many different sort of meanings. You're welcome. Um, so not a, not a nice energy. And I would always say overthinking, overtired, feeling betrayed, feeling put upon, and actually going, gosh, it's got to get better. It will. It will. You know, and sometimes you can avoid this if you deal with things a little bit earlier. OK, so let's move into our next card, OK, which here is the court cards. OK, so page of swords. Look at that. OK, so here's somebody who is a young person and there they are, carefree. You know, the significance there is it's air. Um, all swords are the air family, and the air family is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And in this case, Page of Swords is somebody that has the aspects or is an Aquarian. Okay, so Page of Swords is Aquarius. If this is coming up in a funny old place for you, and you go, well, this isn't a person, it's the aspects of Aquarius. So it's always helpful to actually know um, the star signs and the tendencies and aspects of different star signs. So here we have 
a minor childlike person, somebody that we would think is under the age of 25, but that's not always the case, okay? It can be behaving like somebody uh, that's younger than 25. Excuse me, I'm going to sip my coffee. Terribly warm here where I'm living. Terribly warm. It's August and it's unbearable. Um, the heat is just something else. So you must forgive us. We are probably hitting the highest it will go. And that's really into the 40s, heading into the 50s. So I'm um, sorry about the noise of the fan and the air con, but impossible to actually do anything without it. So this person is always on foot. What does that mean? It means it's, um, it's matters that go on on the ground. You know, things don't go very far with Page of Swords. They're naive, they're immature, they're frustrated, they get distracted. Um, they've not gained enough knowledge yet. Backwards and forwards they go with no particular focus. Airheads, if you like. We can all be like that. I could be like that, you know. That's how I felt this morning, all hot and bothered. And, oh, what am I doing, you know? So it's an aspect of us. It can also represent somebody else um, in your life. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I need to lock my screen there. Um, please bear with me. Okay. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> um, so um, please remember you can download your uh, file um, from Tarot uh, Talk uh, Facebook group where you can actually get the PDF files after the lesson and the ones previously that have taken place. So um, we have somebody here that's probably distracted and you know, they get irritated very easily. You know, this is an airhead. This is somebody that can gossip and not know their facts and just kind of go, oh, I heard this and I think this is my opinion. Those kind of matters would actually really let you know um, a little bit about Page of Swords. And, you know, Page of Swords, I'm just going to change the fade level on what's going on with my um, camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so what do we have? We've got the fact here that You've got somebody who is easily distracted, minor matters, they're not really going to kind of go far with things, um, they don't care for it, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit like, oh, I know a little bit, I don't really care to know any more, I'm moving on to something else. So what you would do in a reading if this came up is you would look to see as you move through the reading if there's further development if they are growing. And how you would do that is you would look to see if they're moving from being a page into maybe a knight, a queen, or a king to show different aspects. It might be the same suit. It might actually show that, you know, they change from page of swords maybe into king of wands or something amazing like that, which shows different aspects, you know, where they are finding it difficult with the mental sort of thoughts um, because it's swords, of course. But when it comes to action, king of wands, Gosh, you know, they're serious in the matters of things that they actualize, the action that they take. So it's these kind of things that are coming up in the lesson to try and help you understand how it all fits together. So Page of Swords, Aquarius, childlike matters, you know, not got enough knowledge, backwards and forwards, no particular focus, a bit of irritating setbacks, and also... This can represent that Mercury is in retrograde. So that's the planet of communication, not really going forwards, kind of heading backwards um, and not in a good sort of place of being able to give you structure. So um, you would know whether you're wasting your time or not or whether or not, you know, you're just chilling out and kind of browsing. And, and I would say Page of Swords is that. It's a bit like browsing. Oh, gosh, I don't know. So, you know, nothing awful with it, but don't rely upon it you if you are this character or someone else if you want something seriously done unless of course you're looking at the other court cards or the other aspects of the reading so this is just one aspect okay let's move into um, the next um, court card and court cards are always aspects of the person that's having the reading and it depends where it comes up in the reading as to whether it's someone else. So it would come up in influences of others, 
relationship, house of work, maybe finance. So you, you would be looking, you know, and if somebody's saying to you, gosh, I'm looking at relationships and this pops up, will this person, you know, and me, will we make it? Probably not. They're distracted, you know, that kind of thing. Unless you saw further on in the reading that this, as I said, that this person became more serious because they developed um, from a page into maybe another page, page of wands, you know, going into actions or into a knight or a queen or a king. So that's how you can work out what growth is there in that um, particular uh, type of reading. But obviously I'll be showing you how to read the cards uh, later on, but that will be a group that will not be um, open. Okay, my camera's dying a little bit there, sorry about that. Uh, I think that was a power surge. Um, it is all plugged in, don't worry. And if not, I will switch to my other one. So, um, aspects of the person having a reading, and possibly if they're inquiring about somebody, it is talking about the aspects of the person that they are seeking the reading about. Okay, so moving on now into... Apologies. Um, I normally do knight. I've gone for queen here, so knight will be next. Sorry about that. It's just the way it's been laid out this time. Okay, so queen of swords, Libra. Okay, so this represents an aspect of Libra and the person having the reading or a Libra person that is influencing something in the reading and that would depend where it comes up is it in you know the house of finance is it in the house of communication is it in the influences of others relationships this kind of thing there's no real gender um when we say a woman people say oh it's definitely a woman it's not it's an aspect we've all got a female side and we've all got a male side so it could be an aspect of a man or a woman okay but the energy is um, more elegant in a queen and delivered with more of a, a nurture and a softness. The strong um, aspect of queen or king is there, but the way in which they navigate or negotiate or focus will be different. It's a bit like a mum and dad, isn't it? Dad could be the one that's actually you know, ruling the house with a very firm, logical approach. Mum will be just as strong, but she'll do it in a different way. And she'll be just as strong, if not stronger, but she will focus and navigate her way differently to get the same results. So if you think of it like that, okay, so it's not gender, all right? Um, it does talk about normally a woman on her own, but I disagree with that. I really feel that I needed to put that there for you because that's what you will read about, um, but it can talk about anybody who is actually a little bit alone, okay? Um, it can represent somebody that is widowed or divorced or separated or single. Um, a sword will cut, so they can be quite cutting, you know? They can be on the edge of telling you black and white scenario, no nonsense here very strong focus and if you look at that queen she's focused on that sword I always like to look at that as in you know here she is looking exactly at what she's doing focusing on the sword she's not distracted like the other fellow was you know looking up at the clouds and oh gosh there's a bird and oh look at that cloud there and mm, uh, I don't want to stay here I'm off to do something else queen of swords doesn't do that highly intellectual you know, sometimes a little bit of bitterness and unhappiness going on with our sort of representation of an aspect of a person who comes up as Queen of Swords. And sometimes they can be truly unhappy, but you know what, they won't let you down. They are completely focused on whatever it is that they are drawn towards. Um, it's not always about emotion, is it? A sword family has nothing to do with emotions. The sword family is, what is the thinking? Now, if you wanted to go to court and you wanted somebody to represent you or you were having an operation, you would want Queen of Swords there, not Page of Swords. Page of Swords, you know, gosh, I can't be bothered, you know. Off I go, I'm distracted. There's a butterfly, there's a cloud, and I'd rather be doing that. Well, 
Queen of Swords, although could be a bit aloof, a little bit cold, a little bit cutting. Our personal focus, Queen of Swords, is an energy that will not let you down. Okay, so there's Queen of Swords, Libra. Okay, Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, so can represent all of those. Um, I would actually say that for me, I would always look that this is Aquarius, all right? Um, another Aquarius um, aspect. And so we've got somebody here. If we look at the horse, the horse is galloping. If we look at all the elements in the picture, you can see, you know, that the wind is flying, um, capes there, you know, um, they're charging into action. Look at the trees, there's movement in the trees. The clouds even look as if they're moving. The birds in the sky are flying. So this is actually making things happen. Things are moving. Please excuse me for a minute. Oh, it's got an itch. As I said, it's incredibly warm here. <laughs> Phew, melting, I have to say. Um, so sorry about that. Um, probably just getting hot and sticky and, and bothered by everything um, that's clammy in this climate. Um, I have to switch to doing this at night. So this is somebody that's quick. This is somebody that's impetuous. This is somebody that's learnt a lot more than the page. And this is someone that's charging in. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm going, and here I am. And, this, and exactly what I just said, I'm coming and going. You know, mm, sometimes we go charging in and then we go, I'm bored. Don't you know? This is too much not hard work. Don't want to do this. So, Knight of Swords is somebody that does know much more than the page. You know, all pages are apprentices, and you know, unlike our Queen, there that's knowledgeable, focused, maybe a little bit miserable, maybe a bit sort of aloof, maybe a little bit bitter, maybe a little bit lonely and resentful. But she'll give you her focus. Knight of Swords will probably come charging in, and you'll think, "Great!" And then all of a sudden, without warning. They're off in another direction and you weren't expecting it and you weren't feeling that that was how things were looking because the energy was strong. So always look at your cards. Is there movement in the cards? And as I show you here, there is. If we go back to the Queen of Swords, the comparison there is she's very still, focused, totally focused on the actual sword in her hand, which shows she won't even sort of look up if somebody knocks at the on the door and she tells them to come in. So you've got an awful lot of things going on here in the tarot cards. Sorry folks. Um, hello, I've just noticed um, I should actually turn my um, Hi Dad, how are you? You okay my lovely? This is tarot school so if you want to catch up with any of the notes that I've actually um, made for previous lessons you can get them on tarot talk and you can have exactly the same um, notes that I have on screen here so exactly as it is okay so um, you seriously got the chance here to be able to oh it's lovely um, and I bear with me Dan um, no, I can't do it on this one normally. Oh, that's good. Um, right, sorry. Dan, I was just looking to see if I could actually bring your comments on the screen. I don't know if I can. No. Um, I can on the other one. Now I'm messing up my screen. Okay. So, sorry. So, yeah. Knight of Swords. All right. So, think of Aquarius. Think of things moving. Look at everything that you can in order to see what the cards are actually telling you. And in this, there's a lot of movement. You can see that in the horse's sort of mane. You can see that in our knight, in his scarf. You know, there's movement, movement in the trees, even the clouds, even the birds. So it's somebody that will go flying in, but then they'll get bored. Okay, so Knight of Swords can be an aspect of us all, of course, can't it? So, you know, there we are with our night. <clears throat> so um, I think we've got time for one more before our half hour. 
um, is up. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Gosh, I'm going to have to take a sip. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness me. I was just about to drink my glass of water. I bet you can't see that up there. Um, you know, it's filled with water. And I've just noticed a huge crack in the side of the glass. That'll be the hot and the cold that's going on here. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, so here we are. Let's move into King. King of Swords. Okay, so King of Swords, Gemini. Okay, this can be representing a bachelor. What it really means in, I put that in there for you because that's kind of what people sort of say. Oh, is this somebody on their own? Oh, yeah, but you know what? You can actually um, make out you're on your own, can't you? <laughs> um, you know, somebody that probably has a lot of friendships and um, somebody that probably chooses to enjoy uh, their own company rather than uh, be amongst people all the time. And a man that kind of lacks a little bit of emotions, it doesn't mean Gemini's are, it just means there's an aspect of Gemini here. So the sword can represent Gemini, you know, the two points of Gemini, um, the twins, and the two aspects of the swords, uh, of the sword, I beg your pardon. Here goes my weekly report across the screen. I wish this wouldn't happen every time I do tarot school. And it happens at this time, 9.30, um, uh, in the UK. And in comes the report to tell me what screen time I've got every week. Ha! Am I doing personal readings? I do, but not today. But if you want a personal reading, you can contact me. They're for the paid ones. If you're looking for freebies, it's about looking out for when I do live free readings, but there'll only be one question, and that's only if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. So if you want a free reading, hang on there, Pavi, um, and you can have a free reading when you subscribe. And don't subscribe um, until you want your reading, because I will want your subscription number. If you want a personal reading with me, jump onto any of these here and you can contact me. Um, it's, uh, if, you, if you contact me, um, DM me on Instagram or PM me on Facebook, any of those things, or go to amarietarot.com, my website, and you can book a reading with me there, okay? Um, I do do different kinds of reading, but on the website, sets 20 minutes. Okay, Pavi, up to you, whatever you want. So yes, I do. Thank you very much for your question. Thank you for reminding me. That's why I do this. You know, yes, I'll give things away, but yes, I'm here to give you readings too. That's how you know I keep the cogs turning. So here we have a man um, in King of Swords that can actually be somebody that works with some academic sort of sides of things. Quite clever, okay? Law, medicine, those kind of things. You know, surgeon, surgeon's knife law, good leader, somebody that can take control. They work best on their own. This is, again, another aspect of this kind of detachment. Okay? They can be very harsh, they can be very strong-willed, and, you know, it is swords, family, again, all about air, the air sign. But these are the sort of focus and structure. Quite cutting, you know, think of a judge, think of, you know, how no emotion comes into that. A surgeon, no emotion. Um, and we can judge them, and that's not fair, because in actual fact, we do need an aspect of detachment, aloofness, of focus, of being very good and very clear-headed and not caught up in emotions or actions or things that are of no consequence when it comes to the matter in hand. So, king of swords in a relationship, somebody that's serious, somebody that's, you know, very good at leading, um, and somebody that is quite capable of being in a place and a space where they can represent you with authority and with conviction 
and with stylishness and with uh, a complete focus and academic intelligence in mental capacity can appear to actually you know dismiss or deflect you um, but you know you've got to remember we need all aspects of everything we're all capable of being a little bit aloof and dismissive when we want to be aren't we so it can be aspects of the person in the reading when you see kings and queens in a reading it is serious um, structure and aspects of a person what that means is they're not flippity chippity they're not changeable they're not um, something that's too flexible they're quite rigid they're quite sort of um, they're there embedded in that person and quite strong whereas if the page that's moving and changing growing you know and also equally if you see a king coming up and you look in the reading and then a little bit further down the line you see that person changing into a page you can actually see that the energy is weakening with that person so it's whether they're going up or down a bit like snakes and lattice really but i'll be showing you all of that but that will not come in until we're doing intermediate or advanced tarot in which they will be paid um, tuition classes and we will need a certain amount of numbers because we need to work with students and we need to work with um, each other. So do contact me if you know. Um, um, ah, hello Parvi. Have I read about Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard and what's my feelings on that? Okay, I will be considering making another YouTube uh, video all about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trials and because it's a legal matter I would prefer to actually not uh, be making any sort of readings based on legal things of course um, because that's not uh, what tarot is about but we can look at Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and find out what's going to happen in their future um, as individuals and what's telling for them so I will look at that but thank you for a great question um, perhaps you've seen my first video and um, you can kind of see you know that this is shifting and changing I still feel that Johnny is going to come out of this as in very very well I think that things have been um, put in such ways that um, it's quite difficult time for them both uh, currently so we can have a look at that quite soon um, as I said I don't want to touch it at the moment because it is just really spinning around a lot of legal stuff and that's not my intention we can have a look at what's going on of course okay so um come back watch that space on youtube and yes i will be looking at that pavi um i hope i'm saying that right or pavi um thank you so much um everybody thanks for joining me i seem to have got some really nice comments here on twitch I've got Facebook, I've got YouTube, so it's all working. Don't seem to have Barbara today. Barbara always says hello to me, and um, so does Jax. Um, so those two are not around today, but big hello to both of you, and I'm sure you'll watch the video later. Okay, folks, hope you're actually having a great day um, and um, staying safe, and I'll see you really soon. See you next week for Tower School, and of course I'll be doing some live readings, as in uh, where you can have a mini reading, um, with me if you wish um, or just have a look at um, what's going on here with some of the videos that I'm making um, for YouTube so I've got quite a few of those still in the pipeline that I'm editing for relationships um, doing a big relationship sort of um, video set for you all okay to do with the elements so watch out for that one Thanks for joining me. Until next week, this is the end of Tarot School. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box and um, put them on Facebook, Instagram. You know, it's all up there for you. There's the Facebook page, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. Um, I'm more comfortable, really, with Facebook and Instagram. And uh, uh, YouTube and Twitter are brilliant, but I don't get to see the comments on a frequent basis in the same way as I do on Facebook. So um, it's just a bit more convenient for me. All right, folks, see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.